everybody, so this is going to be my 10 week pregnancy vlog for baby number three. I'm so excited like I am every week, but I'm even more excited because I think I'm about to start catching up to real time. Um, I have been holding back on uploading all these until I've told my work and family and friends like that and we're pretty much there. Probably by the end of next week everyone will know, um, maybe not Facebook, but the people who matter will know and I'll start uploading these videos. I'm excited about that. This past week I told my um, other co-worker, because I work closely with two of them, I told her because her stagette was this past weekend and I wanted her to know before I went to her stagette that I was unable to drink and pregnant and I didn't want to spray it on her when I got there. So yeah, she was quite shocked, um, excited for me but shocked. But glad that's out of the way. Um, this week I plan to tell my actual bosses, so that means the whole building will know probably towards the end of the week, so I'll be closer to 11 weeks pregnant. But I'm ready to tell them. Especially given my belly, oh my goodness, this is the first week where it's not like I wake up in the morning, my belly's normal, and then by nighttime it's bloated, I wake up with a belly. So <laughs> I'm excited about that. It's just getting really hard to hide at work. My one co-worker, her new, she keeps <laughs> staring at my belly. She's like, you need to tell them soon because people are going to start talking. And not just because I know you're pregnant, but your belly is really obvious. And I'm like, thanks. And she's like, no, I'm just trying to have your back. Like. Maybe you should get a longer shirt. I don't even know if that would hide it. I'm like, okay, I should probably tell work soon because I agree, my belly is getting quite large. All exciting at the same time. Um, but yeah, I have so much to update on. I guess since I was talking about the stagette, I'll continue with that. I went on a camping stagette. Uh, only stayed one night instead of two, thank goodness. It was actually quite hard on me, but I wanted to be there for my friend and she had a great time, so that was awesome. It's just. When you're the only one who can't drink and doesn't want to stay out super late, um, but the party never stops and you're sleeping in a tent in the middle of nowhere, it's a little bit challenging. So luckily that's over now and the rest of this week and month is more low-key. So I'm excited about that. I got through that this week. I have things written down on my phone. I actually had a lot of appointments, so I feel like this is going to be a long update. The beginning of the week, I went and saw my natural path again. Who I haven't seen since before I got pregnant and I strongly believe she's the reason I did so it was really exciting to see her. I went to see her because I wanted the results of my saliva test that um, I had done and she gave that in and it was very interesting results. I feel like I will print out on it. I feel like maybe that would be a whole different video because it's not necessarily pregnancy related but there's this chart you're supposed to be on as far, far as like adrenal levels throughout the day and I'm like way under where you should be. I'm in like the depressed category. I don't feel depressed. I've been depressed before. I'm not depressed but she's like how do you have energy to get out of the out of bed in like in the morning? Um, you're flatlined um, and there's a bunch of reasons for that like I think it's called adrenal fatigue. Um, I'm very much in that category and it's affecting a lot of other things. So very interesting. I had no idea. I don't know if that could be a reason it was hard to try to conceive or if trying to conceive actually caused adrenal fatigue. I have no idea. Um, but she has a herb or something along those lines that's going to definitely help out a lot of issues that I'm low in. So she's given that to me and told me not to start it till six to 16 weeks. Even though it's perfectly safe, she doesn't like to start anything new until the baby is fully formed. And I agree, I would rather be safe than sorry, so I'm going to start that after six week, 16 weeks, I forget what it's called, but if you guys want a video all about my naturopath, because I love her and she's amazing, definitely let me know. Alright, what else happened this week? I had my first midwife appointment on Wednesday. I was so excited to go, I've never been to this practice before, so I was excited to see what it was all about. Um, I met the first, there's four of them practicing, there used to be five, but it'll be four by the time I deliver. Um, and I met the first one and she was so nice and so down to earth and we connected, no problem at all. So that made me really relieved. I'm excited to meet the other three, but um, my first appointment was like an hour and 15 minutes. It was actually quite lengthy. Um, they weighed me and everything like that. And then what did we do? We just talked a lot of history, like uh, what my previous labors were like, um, why I'm switching from a different midwife, I moved and we talked a lot about my questions. I had a lot of questions about home birth and I wasn't sure if the first appointment was really the time to go over that but she went over all my questions with me which was awesome. 
what else do we talk about? Genetic testing and things like that. I opted not to do genetic testing. I haven't done it in the past, so I just opted not to. What else did we talk about? Oh, she gave me papers to book my ultrasound, uh, my 20 week ultrasound, which was really, really exciting. Uh, I think I'll be 20, 20 and a half weeks. You have to, here where I live, you have to be 20 weeks before you can have that ultrasound. Um, so I have a ways to wait. It's November 12th, I think, till I get to see the baby, but I'm glad that it's booked. Things fill up really fast. So that's booked. What else? It was such a long appointment. I'm trying to remember everything. But yeah, she was just really reassuring. One of my concerns was, and I'll talk a little bit about, uh, man, I have so much to talk about in this update, about weight gain. Well, that was one of my concerns because like I said, in my last two pregnancies, I didn't gain any weight because I already weighed a lot more than I do right now. So I never had to watch the scale climb. But now that I'm a healthy, normal weight, um, Obviously the scale will be climbing and that's perfectly healthy. She wants me to gain 30 pounds um, Which in my head is totally okay, but now that the scale started to climb It's definitely a hard thing to look at but I'm just telling myself it's for the baby and I'm really okay with it at the same time But she said given my history it is gonna be tough for me to watch that happen when I work so hard to get that weight off um, and she said if it ever gets too much for me that she can always look at the scale for me and I don't have to look at it which is nice, but I think I'd like to know. I think it would stress me out more not knowing. Um, and I'm okay with the weight gain. I think what's freaking me out is the first trimester weight gain. I was okay until about two weeks ago. Now mind you, I'm dealing with TMI alert. I'm dealing with really severe constipation. Really, really severe. Um, so that definitely contributes to it. And I've been craving salt like crazy. So I know I have a lot of water retention. Um, but I just was hoping not to really gain anything in the first trimester. Um, I was up seven and now I've dropped down to five. So I'm up five pounds at 10 weeks, which is still totally normal. Um, it's just weird. It's just weird to watch the scale go up. So we talked a lot about that and she reassured me. So yeah, I've just been really happy with them so far. Oh, another thing. They tried to use the, or she tried to use the Doppler and she said, no, it's going to be really hard to find it. You're so early. And I said, I know, and I get that. I said, I've been using my Doppler at home and I can find the heartbeat um, pretty easily. So, but if you don't, I... I understand I'm not going to freak out and she tried it and she couldn't find the heartbeat. Um, so that's, it is what it is. Normally they see you every five weeks, but because they didn't find the heartbeat, I'm going to make an appointment. They're going to see me again in three weeks, I think it is, or three and a half weeks, which is great because I love seeing my midwives and asking them questions. So yeah, my next appointment will be in three and a half weeks. As far as symptoms, they are still coming and going. One thing I wanted to note is that my boobs still really, really hurt. Um, and this, I don't know, with both before I didn't really have that, and especially not this late into the first trimester, but I don't know, they must just keep me growing and growing. Like I definitely need to buy new bras. Um, I don't know what's going on there. I thought that was very interesting there. Very noticeable. Um, nausea still comes and goes, but nothing like week six and seven, so that's good. Constipation, really big issue. My naturopath gave me a bunch of recipes and um, supplements and things to try. I'm trying everything on the face of the planet to make my body adjust kind of back to normal. So yeah, that's definitely a concern. What else symptom wise? Just tired, tired as usual, that's pretty much. We did make our first um, baby purchase this week, which was really exciting. Um, we used to have the Brytex Be Ready double stroller, which we loved. But after Riley was like one year old or so and Kayla was two and a half, maybe Kayla was three, she did not want to ride in a stroller anymore, so there's no point in having one. Uh, we ended up selling that one and we just have a little like umbrella stroller for Riley because she loves her stroller. And that's been working for the past cover several years or so. But umbrella stroller is not going to work with the car seat. So I was looking into buying a stroller and what kind I wanted. I definitely wanted a jogging stroller because I do like to jog um, now compared to last pregnancy. So I knew I wanted like an inline stroller. My friend has a full intense and I really like hers. Um, however, I didn't want to buy it new. I'd rather save money if I can. So I've been cruising Craigslist for several weeks now and came across an amazing deal on Phil and Ted's E3 inline stroller with the second seat. Uh, not that we really need it, but if Riley wants to sit in it, she can. And the car seat adapter, which is a whole separate piece, $400. The whole stroller, 
all that together, $100. You cannot beat that. I think in total all that was like 800, 700, 800, something like that. So yeah, I mean, it's not um, brand new. It's definitely a used stroller, but everything is in working condition, no rips, no tears. So I'm happy with it. I thought that was an amazing deal. So we bought that. This week, I also pulled out all my old um, maternity clothes from my previous pregnancy. Kind of sorted through them to see if I had anything that would even work this time around, given I'm a lot lighter. Um, I found a couple of things that were kind of too small for me back then that could probably work now, so I've kept some things. I'm donating a lot, and there is some stuff that I'm selling that's in really good condition, so I did that. And then, because my belly is growing and it's quite noticeable now, I decided to go maternity clothes shopping for stuff that would fit me. And I brought my mom with me and she's nice enough to come along. I just wanted staples, things to get me through work and at home. Nothing crazy, but I did get quite a lot of staples. So, I actually just filmed a maternity clothing haul, so I will show you guys that. But um, I love shopping. Maternity clothes shopping is so much fun. So did that this week. And then the last thing, um, we did it right before I started filming this video, is I was in my backyard and we were taking a pregnancy announcement type photo, I guess you would call it. Um, something to put up on Facebook for when we're ready to do that. Um, it's really cute. I think it's really cute. So hopefully that's all edited and I can put that at the end of this video so you can see what that's like. But I thought it turned out pretty cute. So yeah lots of things happening this week this is next week is not nothing compared to uh this week at all but i'm just excited things are progressing and we're moving closer to the end of the first trimester which is bittersweet because um i mean it means it's going fast but first trimester is not my favorite at all definitely probably my least favorite except for the last month of pregnancy that's not fun either but Excited to be moving past this first trimester. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. All right, and here is my 10-week belly in the front and from the side. As you can see, definite bump happening. I'm trying to suck in right now, and it's still quite a bump there. So this is pretty much how I wake up in the morning already with a bump. So that's exciting. 10 weeks, baby number three.